Well, guys, we got a crazy clip right here. This time we have a woman who goes by the name of Ercelia Campbell, who basically goes on this rant, hits up Target and Starbucks. I don't know if this Starbucks is exactly in Target, but I'm thinking it is. And she throws on this whole menstrual show type of deal going on, or at least temps. Looks more like a Ninja Turtle in this process. And she goes on these different rants talking about different groups of people and it's very strange and odd behavior. She's a self-proclaimed Trump supporter. Anyway, let's get into this clip and we're gonna talk about this some more here. Let's go. Hey, Facebook. I'm looking for a job today. I'm at Starbucks. I never treat myself to Starbucks since the post office got rid of me. Um, I barely treated myself to Starbucks when I was working there. I couldn't afford it. Trump is coming. I'm showing my titties. I have somebody across from me that's showing his too. I'll post his picture later. It's hilarious. You guys have got to see this. Anyway, uh, wish me luck. I'm going to the post office for a job. They will never recognize my picture now. <laughs> they can put me on the I wanted list. <laughs> have a good day. I'm going to have me a Nakai refresher. Okay, if you want um, the rest or the if you want what this stuff is and if you've never had it, you've got to come down to Starbucks. I'm off of Mississippi and 225. Okay, stay tuned. It's going to be candid camera, lights, camera, action today. They'll never recognize me. <laughs> Have a good day. You're literally doing blackface. Yeah. In the middle yeah. of the store. Buster Holt did whiteface. Nobody said shit. Where's your pride section? I need to know. We're past. Oh, I thought they were celebrating this and they took our flag forever. No, I was wrong. My bad. I don't shop at Target. I just take pictures. Join me. Post it on my Facebook, please. My Facebook friends love it. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Me later, yeah, bitch! Yeah, yeah. And I need to fish out some other people, so I'm going to go smoke them out today. But I thought I'd wear blackface so that when I'm done smoking them out and the F buck needs to show up and listen to me for once, um, when they show up, I'm, I want to get a job. So I'm going to make sure I put on a blackface so I can... Um, have my best chance at getting a job. So obviously, guys, this woman is batshit crazy. I don't even know why she just didn't cover up the rest of her face with it. And that color, that's supposed to be blackface. This is ridiculous. You going on these rants in public, you're talking about, is it Pride Month and Donald Trump is coming? Who's supposed to be scared? You're in Colorado. I've never been to Colorado. You know, I don't know the demographics, the makeup, but I do know Aurora. There's been a lot of crazy shit that's going down in Aurora, which I'm assuming is a suburb of Denver or is it part of Denver? I don't know. But the funny thing is, so this lady, she loses her job at the post office and apparently she's blaming it on black folks. And she's made some posts where she's talking about different things. And I'm going to get into her Facebook post. Let's get into it. So this first post that we see here, she says, hi, everyone. It's me. I'm not roasting anyone anymore. God is an all seeing God. I was just having a little fun. I played a clown today and threw myself under a bus by behaving like a black clown. I'm done. Now I'm at UC Health on a mental health hold. I'm done laughing. Someone get me out of here. Can someone bring me a cigarette? My grandpa didn't like the lazy people. My mom had a black boyfriend. No way. My ex was Mexican. No way. And I'm her. I'm here to pay for my family's sins. Somebody tell Black Sambo I said hi. He was my no no. I know because my uncle branded my ass with his high heels. Paying for generational sins and curses. I need someone to bring me a charger for my phone and my ghetto blaster. I'm going to go nuts off Facebook today. No pictures. I look like a nutcase. So 
This obviously was made after she went on these rants that you guys saw in that video. And her daughter got wind of it because she was admitted to the hospital, like she said there. And her daughter is basically saying she needs mental help. She needs mental. It's a mental health breakdown. And a lot of times I just call it BS. This is the de facto answer. This is the go to answer. Whenever someone has a rant or rave, it has something to do with mental health because nobody's typically going to make fun of somebody with mental health issues including this it's like the go-to for when you do anything let me show you what her daughter posted her daughter got on her profile somehow got on her facebook profile and posted for her saying this hey everyone this is the daughter as you all have seen my mother is going through something i can't even put in words no her actions are not okay we have gotten her the help she needs right now currently at this time, the family does ask for time to be able to comprehend what is all going on. That's what Ursilia Campbell posted. That's what her daughter posted to her account. So a few things here. So obviously she wore this in public to stores to antagonize black folks or to just get a reaction. Just to get a reaction out of somebody to see what they would say. And she managed to do that as she got some reactions there. Now on the other part of the clip that I had to I took the audio out when she's outside... She's walking to her car. She's really getting into it with another young lady, which she's not seen. But the other young lady is screaming, crying, all these things. And they're saying stuff that I really can't put on here. That's why I muted it. But she had the Trump bumper sticker. She had the Pence, Trump Pence bumper sticker on there. And hey, it is what it is. Whatever the party you affiliate with at the end of the day. But also the post office, she's talking about going up to the post office. This is what the post office posted. If she decides to come back around, they want to put everybody on high alert and notice of this batshit crazy chick that's coming up there. So let's get into that one. So you see there's a picture of her. It looks like her license. It could be mugshot too. Prior employee Ursula Campbell is trespassing on U.S. postal property. If you see this individual on postal property, first call 911, then contact the U.S. Postal Inspection Service. Yo, that's the feds right there. The U.S. Postal Inse Inspection Service. That's That ain't no joke when it comes to something like that. So she's really playing around and she's talking about going up there. She's really trying to get somebody after her if she's willing to go this far to do this stuff. Listen, guys, people do things to antagonize you. She talked about Lester Holt did white face. Obviously, Lester Holt is a light skinned black dude, right? He did white face. And from what I'm understanding is that he was dressing up like a, a singer from the UK in that instance. Obviously, there's been other people, other sororities and fraternities that have done blackface at these parties that we see. Even your favorite artist, Drake, has done it. And you probably say, well, he's black, but you could tell the way he did it. So this black Robert Downey Jr., if I didn't already say, people were making a fuss about that. You're in control of your emotions. People are going to say things to you. Like using the N-word, for example. It's a form of control, even though nobody should be saying any of this because it really shows your character in terms of you coming from a different background and you think that you can just call somebody these words. No. And dressing up in blackface shows what? What are you mad about? Was it a black person that fired you? Come on, baby. Let's get down to the bottom of it. Whether you're pro-Trump or you're not pro-Trump, obviously saying that Trump has black supporters too. But obviously saying this, what are you trying to say? Hey, he's coming back. We're coming. Man, cut it out. You just want some attention. And as far as you being admitted, somebody probably suggested that being that you, you no longer have your position and to make it look like that. But these are your thoughts. These are your sane thoughts. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. They're saying that Trump created a climate for hate as opposed to somebody suppressing it. Now it's all out in the open. Like I said, once again, it all goes under the guise of people talking about mental health. That's the cover all answer. That's the blanket response for all this. But let me know what you think about what she did. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on link for you to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. Helps to support the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. You guys have a great day. I'm out. Peace. Uh, yeah. 50 cents. 50. Part two. Bring it back. Uh, yeah. Can't forget Tony. 50. UK. Yeah.